Hi, I'm Dave Voltaggio, and I built the Mindstorm's robotic arm, Mark VI. How does the arm work here? What all is the setup to make everything move? Well, it's actually pretty simple. It's just four motors and then four buttons, and pretty simple programming. So every time I touch a button, it causes the motor to close. And I release the button, it goes back, and then it goes limp. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> You've got a phone there, so is that kind of what runs it all then? No, nope. the phone is just for fun. Okay. My, my best friend's on the other side of the convention, so we've been texting back and <laughs> forth. So, can't miss a message, right? <laughs> so it's just a built-in uh, phone mount then as well on the yeah, arm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you've also got some lighting in it, correct? Yeah. Um, we did the World of Lights on uh, Friday night, so we turned out all the lights, which is kind of cool. So I put added some LEDs, and then this neat little light bar that I found at Target. Um, just for fun, just to light it up. <laughs> now, what was the design process on this? Like, did you have to do a few different variations trying to figure out how to fit on the arm best and stuff like that? Um, yeah, basically, this is the sixth version that I've done in a year. So every time I build an arm, and then I basically play with it, and then I strip it down so that I can kind of like rebuild it, learn from what I've yeah. just done. So I basically start by putting four motors together in a hand shape, you know, basic hand shape, and then I start adding on and reinforcing it because it's really heavy. So you need a lot of structural integrity. So I keep adding on and you'll see different like cross braces and stuff so that it stays together and it doesn't like wobble apart and stuff because yeah. previous versions I've had have been really flimsy and I've learned from that mistake. <laughs> Can you wear, what's the, the longest you've ever worn this for? Does it get pretty heavy after a while? It gets very heavy. <laughs> I wore it about three and a half hours straight yesterday for the public. And I was walking around and uh, shaking people's hands and stuff, and it definitely gets uh, a little heavy after a while. Because <laughs> yeah. you got the EV3 and all the batteries on it, so, you know, and the four motors, of course, it gets heavy there. <laughs> I would imagine that could be quite annoying. So I, have you uh, ever had any big mishaps with wires or anything like that or engines? What was the biggest challenge of putting it all together? Ooh, biggest challenge. Biggest challenge is probably getting all of these wires and the wires underneath to kind of like stay out of the way because I need to change the batteries every hour or so. So I need to be able to quickly pop them out and then pop the EV3 off and get the batteries in and out and then pop it back on. So keeping all this clean, well, I mean, it looks like a mess, but <laughs> trying to keep it clean is uh, very important there. <laughs> okay. Very cool. So are we going to see you in a full body suit next you year? Know, I've got some plans. You know, i got a, a year till next Brick Fair, right? I might be at a few other Brick Fairs throughout the, this coming year. Um, I do plan to keep reiterating. I've got some ideas for the Mark 7 coming up, so I've got some ideas going there. <laughs> Very nice. That's a really awesome build there. Like, you can move the fingers and everything. You, like you said, you shake the public's hand and everything. So works really well. Thanks for showing that to us.